It is repetition which makes for perfection. Perspective lines, it's all about if there's a line, you have two perspective points you would draw out. And to do this on an 11 by 17 piece of board, which is what we draw on, I would have to literally tape pieces of paper out for like six feet and then keep drawing these lines. It was, uh, but you can buy pre made perspective grids. And I know some artists do that as well. Whoops, that was a horrible line. Right, so if, if you have a building, So the idea is you have a building and you can draw all the windows in this building because all the lines basically go to these vanishing points. And then three point perspective. There was someone on YouTube that was basically slamming my use of three-point perspective, but this is the way I was always taught is here's one, here's two, the th third point has to be 90 degrees up from one of these other points. And this, this vanishing point is for if there's a sloped roof on this house, how does this roof slope? And it, it, I believe it goes something like that. Right? It would, it would basically, this line and this line are not the same angle they both vanish towards that vanishing point. If that makes any sense, right? That's a crappy looking house, but that's essentially the idea. So yeah, I would do these very detailed perspective grids. Um, but then you realize you could probably You know, a lot, of, a lot of skyscrapers already have sort of the um, perspective lines because of the, the windows that they have here. And so if there's like a scene in Batman or something like that. You can kind of do these reverse sevens. Or R's or whatever. And you can kind of create your own. Really, kind of reacting to the patterns I put uh, previously on the page, and building up different uh, sort of densities of value. Right. I assume that's Ron. Did he, uh, is it he? Did he pick a character? Anyone in chat? So, you know, when I draw a story, Superman, Batman, uh, this is kind of how I do perspective. Just kind of draw it out. And I kind of have 
these vanishing points in mind, or I, I, I put them so far out that I can kind of just, um, I don't have any super sharp angles. And then sometimes I'll just take the, uh, the ruler so there's a way of doing it even faster, which is with the ruler. And you basically, and it won't smear because I'm just doing it with pencil. kind of get into these skyscrapers and kind of their unusual shapes. Yeah. 